Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be trying out a glitter mixing gel kit from Glitterless Nails, and I'll be showing how I created this manicure using a custom shade. So let's get right into the video. Alright, so if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen in my nail mail highlight that I received this glitter mixer kit from Glitterless Nails, and it allows you to create some of your own glitter pot shades. So here is what the little kit looks like. I'm going to quickly do an unboxing of all of the things included. Then I will go ahead and mix up some shades, and then of course do a manicure. So there are five different gel pots, some swatch sticks, stir sticks, the gel, and glitter. And there are also some labels so you can name your colors. So there are two different sizes of jar, a mini and then a larger size. And once you open them up, there is sort of a round bottom where the gel will sit. And then here is what the larger container looks like. Here is the glitter gel base. So this is just a clear, thicker gel. Here are the swatch sticks and mixing sticks and then the different shades of glitter. So there is this really beautiful iridescent purple flake and a holographic glitter. This sort of mauve colored hexagon glitter. Then two types of iridescent glitter. This one which is slightly thicker and then this next one which is smaller pieces. And then lastly this chunky glitter mix that has some fall colors. So here is a small jar I'm going to start off with. So I'm going to open that up as well as my clear gel base. So there is a seal, so I'm just going to quickly peel that off. And then I'm going to place the cap back on and twist off the smaller part, which will allow the gel to squeeze out. So I'm going to place a small amount of the gel into the container. And I do want to note, there is a set of instructions that comes with this kit. And I do recommend reading that to get the ratios right. Um, so I went ahead and looked those over. And now I'm just going to start mixing up my gels. So I'm going to pour the correct amount of clear that I want inside. And the first glitter shade I'm going to use is this sort of fall colored one. So I'm going to take a metal cuticle pusher and take a few scoops of the glitter and pour that into the clear. And once I'm happy with the ratio, I'm going to take one of my stir sticks and gently start mixing up the gel. Now when you mix, you want to make sure to mix thoroughly and get all of the glitter pieces evenly distributed. And once you are mixing, you will notice that some bubbles will start to pop up. And ideally, you'd want to wait about 2 days or 48 hours for those bubbles to sit. Um, I let this sit for about a day or so when I applied them onto my nails and there were still some bubbles. So I do recommend letting it sit for longer. But obviously, I was trying to film this and get this video done, so that wasn't the exact situation I followed. But I do want to mention that I do recommend following and reading those instructions. So once I'm done mixing, I'm just going to wipe off my stir stick. And then I'm going to go ahead and cap up the gel so I can decide on a name and label it. So I actually decided to call this one Fall Fun because it totally reminded me of Fall. And I'm going to place that sticker right on the cap. And now I'm going to be moving on to the next shade. So I'm going to be following the exact same process I did for the last color. And I'm going to actually do this process with all of the colors that I'm going to mix up. So I'm just going to place a bit of the clear into the pot. And for this one, I decided to do the purple iridescent one. So I'm just going to take a few scoops of the glitter and place that inside, and then go ahead and start stirring. Now the first three gels I mixed up, I used the glitters that I was sent in this kit, and then the last two I actually made custom. So there is one I did with glitters I already had, and then one I actually made with a nail powder to sort of get a metallic finish. So that is something really cool you can do. You can totally customize these to your liking. And I think it's really fun being able to mix up your own colors and get the desired shade you are looking for. So I am going to go ahead and let you guys watch for the next couple of minutes. And it's just going to be me mixing up the colors and then labeling them. So feel free to skip ahead if you want to the swatching and doing my manicure. Otherwise, you can totally sit here and watch me mix up the shades and I will be right back.
Alright, so I just finished mixing up all of my different colors, and now I'm going to go ahead and swatch them so you can see how they apply. So first I'm going to be swatching shade Pumpkin, which is this beautiful orange metallic, and I'm going to be doing two coats of this color to get full opacity. And the formula was super easy to work with. It's definitely a little bit thinner without the glitter added in, um, so it was a little bit more runny, but it was still super easy to apply and definitely nice and opaque. The next shade is Fall Fun. This is that beautiful fall colored glitter. So I'm going to apply one coat of this to get a nice beautiful coverage. Now with these chunkier glitters, the best technique I find is to float the product over the nail instead of brushing down firmly, and that just helps get a more even distribution. So here is the next color, this one is called Butterflies, and it is the one I made with the butterfly glitters I personally owned. And I think this one is super fun and definitely unique. Now you can kind of see here what I was talking about earlier with the bubbles. If I would have let this sit longer, I wouldn't have had so many small bubbles inside. However, they aren't super noticeable and I still think that the swatch came out really nice. Here is the shade Lavender Glass. This one also had quite a few bubbles, but with the one coat I did over this swatch, I think it looks super iridescent and shiny. Then lastly, here is shade Unicorn. I think this might be one of my favorites that I made. It is super cute and I love the different textures of the glitter. And now, with all of these swatches, I'm going to go ahead and apply a nice thin layer of a glossy gel top coat, and this is going to seal in the color and make all of these swatches nice and glossy. Then I cured all of these swatches fully, and here are what they look like under my ring light, and then here they are in direct sunlight, so I think they all look absolutely beautiful. And now it is time to get started on my actual nails. So I went ahead and cleaned them off with alcohol, and now I'm going to be applying a nice thin layer of my Hollow Taco Peely base coat for easy pop-off removal. And obviously if you want these gel nails to last, I would recommend prepping your nails properly, applying a thin layer of a gel base coat, and then going in with the gel pot shades. So once the peel-off base coat is dry, I'm going to choose my color. Today I'm using Fall Fun, and I'm also going to be using my Model 1's brush to get a nice even application. So I'm going to take a small dollop of the product out and place that on my nail and gently move that around to get a nice even effect. Now I did only do one coat of this gel on each of my nails and that is because I was going for sort of a sheer negative space look. If you wanted more of a fully opaque look, I would either recommend doing more than one coat or applying a base color underneath. So I'm just going to keep repeating this process on all of my nails. And it is definitely a process that takes a little bit getting used to, since the product does tend to be a little bit more runny than sort of a dip powder. However, I really do like the look of gel nails, and Glitterless Nails does have a really amazing formula. And I do want to quickly mention, I do have a discount code with Glitterless Nails. It is Kate's Nails, and it will get you 20% off your purchase. And I will leave all of the information regarding my code, as well as the product used in this video below. So be sure to check that out if you are interested. And I'm going to let you guys go ahead and watch me finish up the application, and I will be right back. So after curing the colored gel, I'm going to go ahead and apply a nice thin layer of my Revel Gel Top Coat. Now I actually don't really like this top coat, however it was the one that was sitting out on my desk so I decided to just go ahead and use it. 
But anyway, I'm going to apply a nice thin layer, wrap the free edge, and then cure for 30 seconds once I'm happy. Once the nails are fully cured, I'm going to rehydrate my skin and nails using my Lay Lorraine cuticle oil pen. And here is the finished manicure I was able to create using my custom gels from the Glitter Lust Nails Gel Mixing Kit. So I absolutely recommend this kit. It is so fun and definitely a cool thing to do if you are looking for a custom way to make your own gel shades. So I will leave everything linked in the description in case you want to check it out. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe down below, and I will see you in the next one.